So here's our room, we've got kettle and tea and coffee making stuff, fan if it gets too hot, unlikely in this country, but you never know. Nice bed, wardrobes, there's a chair over there and a full length mirror. Yeah, so it looks pretty good to me for what we paid for it, to be fair. It's quite nice and spacious, got a TV. And then there's a shower, toilet, and a sink. Hello. It's raining. Just to make a change, it's raining and we are sheltering. We are here in Bristol and I had a good first day, although it didn't quite go to plan. There was a couple of um, issues at the hotel that they had no, they had a problem with the electricity when we got here, so the booking was a little bit late, but that was fine. Then we couldn't get into our room because the, they have these new key card things and it for some reason it wasn't working, but again, they've sorted it out, so all is well. It was a bit rainy today, so we kind of haven't filmed very much, but we had a walk across the bridge and a walk around Clifton, had a nice coffee and we're now getting ready to go out for the evening. We're going to the Clifton Sausage Restaurant. So Yay! That, Martin's very happy about that. It's his spiritual home, I think. So we're just going to have a beer and then head off. The other slight problem we have is that everywhere seems to be booked up for Friday and Saturday night, so we're kind of We've got a bit of a plan, but hopefully we will get out for dinner every night that we're here. Um, I just hadn't realised that places would be so booked up. Are we lost? No, not at all. We're in the dead centre of Clifton. <laughs> Aren't we? We're just trying to find the Clifton Sausage <laughs> restaurant. We'll get there. It's day two in Bristol. We've had quite an eventful morning so far. Had a really good night's sleep. Really enjoyed last night's dinner and just being out in the city. It was really good fun. And this morning the fire alarm went off because somebody was smoking in the room, in one of their rooms here. So it is, it's a little bit faulty towers this place, but we had a nice chat to a lady outside and then we were all allowed back in again. So we're just getting ready now. We've had our breakfast. They don't actually do breakfast here, so we bought some stuff with us. And we're going to head off, go up Cabot's Tower, hopefully, and then head to the Bristol Museum and then to St Nicholas Market for lunch. Hopefully, we won't get rained on. That's where we're going, up Cabot Tower. So we should be able to get some good views of the whole city although it is a bit overcast. So unfortunately, it looks like Cabot Tower is closed. So we're not gonna be able to go up there. 
which is a shame because we've been up there before get really good views across the whole of the city but I guess it's closed because of Covid I don't know who knows but anyway we'll try and get a few shots from up here at the park so we think we're looking down onto SS Great Britain you can just see the masts sticking up but it's not it isn't very clear today and obviously we're not up as high as we hoped we'd be if the tower was open but it is still lovely and one of the things I really love about Bristol is that there are so many green spaces within the city it's fantastic guess what it's raining again and we're sheltering under the trees but i'm still smiling yay smile <laughs> smile hopefully it's just going to be a shower and then we can be on our way i'm not going to spend the day here hopefully <laughs> So after we had our coffee stop we went into St Nicholas Market and had a good look around and then we got some lunch from there. It's a great place to go for lunch because there's all these like street food stalls, all different kinds of food and we've never had a bad meal there. It's really reasonable as well and today we chose the Caribbean stall which we'd not chosen before and the food was delicious. After lunch we walked all the way along the river stopping of course for coffee and cake we've actually walked a, a lot of miles today but it was really lovely down by the river always so much to see stuff going on down there it's a great place
Did you read the blur? No. It's a floating raft that's planted with all sorts. You get a good view from down here. Yeah, that's a sea nice. Thank you for watching so far and we'll see you again soon for the next part of our Bristol adventures.